Let's begin by clearing up breaking news. Florida House bans social media access to all LGBTQ plus children under 16. LGBTQ plus activists are saying that Governor DeSantis and Florida's culture war of don't say gay on students and youth has taken an even darker turn. The Florida House passed a restriction on children under the age of 16 to allow any access to social media platforms regardless of parental approval. It has been the top priority for the chamber's speaker, Paul Renner. The bill doesn't list which platforms would be enforced, but it suggests any social media site that tracks user activity. Critics argue it is part of the game to have a very vague interpretation of laws, which would then theoretically survive constitutional challenges. The bill's sponsor, Republican Representative Tyler Soros, says it's not about speech, but rather about keeping children from getting hooked on social media. The House voted 106 to 13, with several Democrats joining all Republicans in support. Queer Democratic Representative Michelle Rayner posted on X before the vote about the hateful nature of social media, including comments about her deceased mother. While it will affect all youth in Florida, studies show it will have a disproportionate impact on LGBTQ plus youth. Florida, with its book bans, don't say gay, no pride flags potentially, is crushing attempts on all recognition of LGBTQ plus and have left Florida LGBTQ plus young people hiding in social media. Harold Marrero, chief operating officer of Safe Schools, says, quote, since don't say gay was enacted, Safe Schools has pivoted to digital and social media programming to ensure uninterrupted education and support for our youth. Laws like HB1 stifle young voices and undermine parental rights to manage their children's digital presence. It's a direct attack on inclusivity and personal autonomy, end quote. Max Fenning, executive director of PRISM, raises an alarm of what will happen to LGBTQ plus students next in Florida. He said, quote, as a youth-led organization, we're deeply disappointed in the passage of HB1, which would strip critical resources like the ones we provide for youth. Young people deserve to feel seen, heard, and take up space, and this bill works to silence them in the public forum, end quote. Meta owns Facebook and Instagram. Their director, Carl Calder Hill Childs, agreed, saying, quote, many teens today leverage the internet and apps to responsibly gather information and learn about new opportunities, including part-time jobs, higher education, civic or church gatherings, and military service. By banning teens under 16, Florida risks putting its youth, its young people, at a disadvantage versus teens elsewhere. Other states have considered similar legislation, but only Florida has considered a total ban. In Arkansas, a federal judge blocked enforcement of a similar law in August, requiring parental consent for minors to create new social media accounts. The Florida bill requires social media companies to close any accounts it believes to be used by minors. Opponents argued the bill would violate First Amendment and parental rights. First, we need to say this has not happened yet. The House passed the bill today. It still needs to go to the Senate and be signed by Governor DeSantis. But the odds are right. <laughs> it's, it, it's gonna pass. Um, and honestly, I'm a little torn about this because we've had social media for a long time. So it's like to protect children from becoming addicted, it kind of feels like that horse has already left the barn. Uh, you know, uh, kids are buried in their phones. My eight-year-old cousin um, showed me how to work an iPad. I mean, you know, the, the kids today <laughs> are, are very far along. But I also know that there are predators out there. I mean, you know, we've Chris Hansen built an entire franchise, an entire identity, um, luring um, would-be pedophiles through through uh, social media by pretending to be a kid. And kids are out there. And we've seen kids commit suicide over social media bull bullying. That said, this completely cuts parents out of the picture. They talk about parental rights. Don't say gay was officially called the Parental Rights Protection Act or some nonsense like that. And I feel like parents should have the right to digitally manage their kids. And and and, and, and we, we think about how far we've come, but these kids don't know that. They, you know, every day 
a new group of kids turns 10, a new group of kids turn 11, and they start becoming more socially aware. That's about the time when, when you know, um, your consciousness of really who you are starts to form. So I, I'm, I'm really in favor of, of, parents, of parents' rights. So I guess that's where I'm gonna come down on this. Remember, there are several states that have um, required uh, adult sites like mm -hmm. um, Pornhub and things mm -hmm. like that to require um, age verification. And they just shut down in those states. I doubt Facebook and Meta, would YouTube be considered in that? In which case kids would need uh, permission to watch this very show. And this is a news show. How and they, I'm feeling that we're in, in the targets of it. How, how are they even like controlling this? Like, are, well, there's geofencing. Like, there's geofencing. Um, you know, they can tell who's watching what where. Well, the thing is that, like, you know, for for example, Tinder has an age restriction. I've seen so many high schoolers with Tinder. Well, yeah. So, like, how are they circumventing that? Well, that part of it, sense. part well, of it, well, but part of it's just the fear, though. They put the law out there, and then they want people, and they want to say that they're going to close those accounts down. And a lot of people just want to say, "Okay, I don't want to get into trouble." And even if they don't get into trouble, it's the fear that's going to keep them. It's that self-censoring is what they're trying to to do, and they're trying to control the speech and take power away. Think about the number of things that get controlled based upon age. I mean, you can learn to drive when, when you're 16 and you have to be 18 to be able to consume, or 21 to, to consume alcohol. Mm -hmm. You can enlist in the military at 18, but what other things is there control on that yeah. that that you, we don't trust families and young people to do something? I don't, I don't want to tangent here into, into this, but I'll say, um, Kids eight, ten, and eleven go out hunting with their parents. There you go. Yeah, that's true. They're holding and guns. They're, they're not just they following along, apprenticing. -ing. And they'll they're find a way. Out. I mean, yeah. we're at a point yeah, now exactly. where like the kids will find a way they, to do they it. They always do. They, they know always more do. than we do. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. the older we get, the more clueless we are, and they're just mm -hmm. find a way. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they're, they're, that, that's exactly like my point. Like kids are intelligent. It's just an attack they, again on the LGBT yeah, absolutely. community. Absolutely. And absolutely. And we have to get to a point where it's it's not about all youth. It's about, you know, stopping sites. It's about stopping the LGBT youth. I think. And also, yeah, let's remind ourselves that every time Republicans try to do something hateful, they always have a cloak of like moral outrage yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. You know, this time it is to prevent children from being addicted to social media. That's complete BS. We know that is complete BS. They yeah. always, it's just like the don't say gay thing is about parental rights and education. It's never about parental rights mm -hmm. because some parents of LGBTQ plus kids wants them to be out and open and say gay. But this is just another way to say that we're going to stick something on you. And the other thing is, unless they literally, unless Governor DeSantis can literally walk into Meta office and arrest Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> and force him to shut down all those <laughs> accounts that are located, that, are, that originate from Florida that belongs to children. How is he going to actually, you know? No. Don't give him any ideas, Bobby. <laughs> Don't give him no, any ideas. No, I, want, I, I, want, I want Mark Zuckerberg to give him a roundhouse cake. <laughs> Maybe after he finishes cage matching Elon, he can e yeah. cage match um, <laughs> Ron the, the good governor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, as I said, it seems like the horse is already out of the barn on this one, but we will continue to follow its progress through Senate committee hearings um, and future votes.